If shooting one million dudes isn't your thing, you don't like stats and numbers going up, and mostly want a video game to be something you walk around in, then turn this off right now and go play Outer Wilds. When traditional video game fare has got you down, step onto the awe-inspiring worlds of Outer Wilds, a unique mishmash of Majora's Mask, Mist, and Kerbal Space Program where you'll guide your unnamed protagonist around a miniature solar system that's packed to the brim with weird stuff to poke, with a bunch of tools you only kinda understand how to use to uncover the mysteries of the previous civilization, the Nomai, and watch your cares melt away as you immerse yourself in rich, delicious lore, until they're immediately replaced with anxiety when you realize there's a strict time limit until the sun explodes on you, and you have to play the entire game like you're trying to speedrun archaeology. Entire understanding of the Namai race, any percent no clipping. Experience the extreme pressure of the time loop as the strict 20-ish minute limit turns the game from a relaxing stroll through interesting game assets where you casually read alien text message logs by putting twisty dildos into walls and scanning them with your Google Translate machine into a mad dash back to whatever planetoid you were trying to explore before the last supernova burnt your skin off as you Groundhog's Day your way through loop after loop, chipping away at whatever pseudo-puzzle has you stumped, fighting with the space physics to reach your objective before it gets buried in sand or whatever, in a game that has many fascinating things to discover, but sure makes it frustrating as sh** to actually see them sometimes. Well, I missed my chance again. Time to fly directly into the sun. Explore the, uh, wilds of outer wilds and discover mysterious alien technologies that involve playing with marbles, marvelous astral phenomena that defy physical reality, but who cares, they're pretty cool to look at, and realize a whole bunch of brand new and very specific phobias you didn't know you had, like free floating in space with no ship or fuel, falling into a black hole, getting crushed to death by rising sand, or getting eaten by a massive anglerfish, as this normally relatively peaceful game swings into horror without warning, but still keeps the stakes nice and low because you'll always be resurrected by the weird statue lady. Now that's what I call good head. Uncover the mysteries of your mini galaxy as you search for the enigmatic eye of the universe, the quantum object that the Nomai were also obsessed with, and scour every corner of the many strange objects floating out there in the void until you finally discover the reason that people talk about this game like it gave them a reach around or just get so frustrated from trying to fly the ship that you forsake technology and live the rest of your life as a hermit. But before you do, do not make a doppelganger of the scout with the black holes. Hey, I said don't! Oh great, you ripped the fabric of space-time. You proud of yourself? Because now we have to live in Kazoo World. So space suit up and bring your adult gamer hat. Because if you're the type of person that likes to kick, jump, or shoot things, this one's a real snoozer. But if you can deal with reading immersive notebook doodles and pushing balls around, this just might be the next game that you're annoying your friends about. Dude, uh, come on! Play this for like 20 minutes. I swear this is not like the time I made you play the Garfield game. Starring. Dying. 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 Going out without your suit. And dying. Dying, dying, and jam sessions. Lunar Lander. Everyone knows the real final end game is trying to toast the most flawless marshmallow. No, this is too crunchy. I swear to whatever alien deity I worship, I will have perfection. Oh, there goes the sun. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. Well, I think we can all agree that nothing could have been done to prevent this. You spoony bard. Death can have me when it earns me. Well, I guess you could call that a wow. Not even flex tape can fix this. 